So this song, One More Adventure, is about the breakup of a long-distance relationship that was across the ocean. The whole song is a metaphor for moving on and going out to sea for a new adventure. So when I was coming up with ideas for the music video, I knew that I wanted to shoot it on a sailboat, if at all possible. I just didn't know anyone with a boat or how we were going to do that. <laughs> you get stuck? I mean, you look like a pro right now. I saw the shipwrecks buried in your heart. The tide was strong and no matter what the boat's doing. So I was telling this idea to one of my friends at my birthday party and she told me that she had a work colleague who had a sailboat and loved taking people out on his boat. So she was the missing key and she connected us right away and a week later my videographer and I were driving up to Waukegan Harbor to check out the boat. We met Jonathan who owned the boat and we met his friend Russ who just wanted to come along because it seemed like fun and he wanted to help out. <laughs> they were awesome. They took us out a couple different times. We got a whole bunch of different shots and these were super helpful in coming up with the storyboard for what would be the final music video. So our first shoot day was to get all the scenes from the deserted island. My team was very small. It was just my videographer Nathan and my producer Mariel. We drove out to Indiana Dunes and once we got there we had to walk about 30 minutes with all of our gear to get away from all the people so that it would look like I was really on a deserted island. start charging music video clients for the song being too catchy. <laughs> Get out of my head! <laughs> So this was one of the hottest days in July, and unfortunately, we all got sunburned. My legs got really, really sunburned that day. Walking back from our location was kind of a nightmare. It was like two o'clock in the afternoon, hottest part of the day. We were carrying super heavy gear, and the sand was so, so hot. It was really challenging to get back. Then we did the treasure chest scene and we shot it right by the parking lot because we didn't want to carry the treasure chest very far and it was also a shady area. So we just shot one direction and then as we were shooting, people were like walking to their cars and watching us and being like, what are these guys doing here? <laughs> we're doing the final shot of the beach day. Treasure chest, burnt legs. <laughs> all good. <laughs> Nathan, how do you feel? I feel like I'm covered in sand. <laughs> the only thing keeping me going is the phrase, that's not what boats are for. <laughs> Every time I hear that phrase in the song, I, it's not that it's like a funny phrase or something, it's just my brain is like, that's not what boats are for. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's supposed to be the deepest part of the song. I don't. <laughs> So next was the sailboat shoot day. We had a slightly larger crew. It was still Nathan and Mariel. And then we also had our two sailors, Jonathan and Russ. Goodbye land for a long time. <laughs> yeah, until it's dark. Early on in our shoot, we almost lost Jonathan's yeah. drone. It flies itself. I'm kind of curious how we're gonna get it back. <laughs> The drone did not want to land back on the boat. There was some kind of setting where it would recognize the boat and then fly away. This is going to be hard. I'm going to grab the drone out of here. The problem is it's going back up by itself. We spent about 20 minutes trying to get this drone back onto the boat. Eventually Russ caught it out of the air, but it was getting tense there for a moment because we found out later the drone only had a 30 minute battery lifespan. <laughs> so it was about to fall into the water. So for this shoot, I was worried that I was gonna get more sunburned. I was worried about falling into the water. <laughs> but what I didn't think of was that I might get seasick and that is what happened. <laughs> How are you doing? 
All right. I took Dramamine before getting on the boat, which was supposed to help with seasickness, but about an hour and a half in, I was throwing up in a bucket, and I took a nap as we sailed back to shore to regroup. We had dinner, we chilled out for a moment, and I decided I wanted to go back out onto the boat and get the final shots. <laughs> when we went back out, I felt totally fine. I think it had to do partly with the water being a little calmer and we didn't put the sail up this time, so it was a lot less rocky. It was a lot more fun, too, to be feeling good <laughs> and doing the shoot. <laughs> So at that point, we had about 30 minutes to get the sunset shots. We were racing against the light and it was just like, shot, shot, shot. <laughs> we just finished the sunset shots just in the nick of time. And now we're waiting until it gets dark. And then we're gonna shoot the night scenes. And then we'll be done. Only 10 shots left. Yes. <laughs> The moon was especially beautiful that night. It was almost full, it was really bright. The next day was the super moon. And some people asked me if I planned it, and no, definitely not. It was enough with planning like around everyone's schedules and also like the weather, the wind and the rain. So I did not plan around the moon. It was just a happy coincidence. So this treasure map that I made is actually a map of some islands that are in Lake Michigan. I think most people have not heard of these islands, so I thought it would be safe to draw them and make it still look like kind of an abstract treasure map. But these are islands that are in Lake Michigan. I thought it would be a fun tribute since we made it look like it was an ocean, but really it was just our lake here in Chicago. So that's a bit of what was going on behind the scenes for this music video. It was a very challenging shoot due to the elements. I did not expect to get sunburned and seasick like I did. So I think from now on, I might be shooting indoors and on land, but it was still a super fun experience. So cool to be out on the boat. And I think I found a new love of sailing. <laughs> and everyone was amazing to work with. I'm super happy with the video. It looks absolutely beautiful. So thank you for watching the behind the scenes. Hope that was interesting. Please like the video. Please go watch the music video. Share it with your friends. And I will see you in another video soon. Bye. Yeah. Coming.